to make this video, I'm getting a, I'm getting a Nokia G10. I bought with my money I paid. Um, now I got a Samsung S5 a few weeks ago, but and the phone really it's it's a nice phone, screen bonin, but and also it's kind of old. But now I tried to convince my dad for it to let me buy a different phone. He said no. Well, I mean, it kind of makes sense. It was a locked phone, but. Now, there was another phone I was looking at, me and my dad were looking at, which was a, um, blue phone. But it was relatively not well spec. It was like 2 gigabytes of RAM. And it really, and it also wasn't made with the most trustworthy, um, company. Until I found this phone. Now, 150 was a little pricey, but I had some money. I'd be using up my money, but I discovered. But what really sealed the deal is having the uh, promo for 14% off. So I paid like uh, 120 bucks for this phone. That's like pretty much the same price as the blue phone. But you have three gig. No, I had the amount of because you can't really find a four gig model. I mean, yeah, it's not ideal, but still three gig is perfectly fine for me. I got three gig bytes around, 32 gig bytes. and I don't really need the dual SIM model. I really don't need it, but you know what? It's nice. And also something, two things that pushed me even up. That made me definitely want to get this is actually three things. So being an Android One phone, Android One phone. So we go to Android One. Now it doesn't say on the website, but on Wikipedia, it is an Android One phone. You see my phone? Yup, the uh, Nokia G10. It is an Android One phone, so it's nice. <sighs> I don't know why. I'm just looking at this, I'm kind of distracted, but. So GSM Arena, G2050, G10, yep, the Nokia G10, it's available here. It is a definitely Android, it is 100% Android 1. It doesn't have an available website, but what really puts me over the edge is the 15 gigabit storage, um, being really, very stacked, which I really like on an Android, and also very easily in like a bootloader, I can mess with it, I can install custom ROMs and all relatively easily. Um, the price once again, and once again, having a micro SD card slot was a really nice feature. Um, and having two USB C cables, a j or maybe this the type one only comes with one, but who cares? A case, a screen protector, Mint Mobile. This phone just really, 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 really piqued my interest. And I'm getting it. Now, I bought it from the website, which I would currently recommend doing until at least July 14th when the code, the promo ends. Because you can get, now it was on Target, but, you know, I don't really want to drive to Target. And also, I mean, I paid a bit of an extra, I don't know, I guess we're now we get the point. I paid a little extra. I'd pay a little bit of extra money on, like, Nokia's fine. I would assume it would come around maybe Tuesday, hopefully. But still, it's really cool. Now, this sadly doesn't have 5G, but not like I care too much. I don't, once again, really care. But, I guess I'm done. You know, I might go a little bit more in depth on it. I don't know. You know, I think I'll go a little bit more. I guess I'll just see the specs and I'll go, oh, the the main, the other f real feature that I'm really, the two other features I was really, so I think I already said that, I guess there's four features. Now, the, the act core is fine, all the CPUs are fine, the RAM is fine, the CPU is fine. USB-C, I'm happy, but once again, I kind of expect it. It's mostly FM radio, I really love FM radio, I loved my, uh, that's why I really loved my Note 1, but my Note 1, doesn't have FMA capabilities. No, my and my Samsung S5 as well doesn't have, cause I don't. There was a legal battle or something. I don't know. And also IPS display. Like I'm not ever getting. An, I'm never gonna get a um AMOLED display ever again. If I can avoid an OLED or an AMOLED panel, I will avoid it. Screen burn. It's not as vibrant or whatever as an AMOLED, but it's, I don't have to worry about screen burn. Also, it will get. A, as it's a part of Android 1, it will get Android 12. It says it's going to get Android 12 relatively recently. I think in a week or two. Maybe it's already out. I don't know. 
but it is coming out soon. So it's coming out Android 12 soon, and I'll eventually get Android 13 and a security update in 2024. So that's really nice. That's really nice. So I will, this phone is going to be supported for a long time. And all of it just, it has splash protection, I guess. All of it just lead down to a really nice phone. Pretty much what I ended up getting is I ended up buying the model with... I ended up getting the uh, Midnight Blue model because I decided it looked cool. I got the Midnight Blue, just blue model. It looked decent. I mean, it doesn't really matter in the end of the day with color, but I just really like the co color of the phone. I just think it looked nice, so I bought it and it's color, but I'm going to talk to you guys. Can't speak up for you. Out.